oxide NO NO supply to the baby and this is the uh, trace line so that how much NO2 is generating this feedback loop so the two sizes are different there is no confusion <coughs> and the color coding also green green there is no confusion okay so then you have uh, the connection from the cylinder to the dispenser is by this one this is connecting here there is a wire here so that it will continuously measures how much uh, gas is there inside pressure is there inside so this is the complete feedback loop okay so most of the ino cylinders will come with a 1000 ppm parts per million 10 liters capacity they will have a pressure more than 100 bar okay so if the pressure comes low then this will give alarm and with the pressure how much it is inside based on that it will calculate how much time your cylinder will come so that is an extra safety feature here okay so always before starting you should have extra backup cylinders in place okay so this has to be calibrated every day when you are using therapy every 28 days once the detailed calibration the zero sensor calibration is there that has to be done every day it's self explanatory on that and 28 days this biomedical people will come and calibrate with these two cylinders here this is one of the cylinder this is night NO cylinder so there are cells like how much NO so same like this that is why they, they calculate the they calibrate the cells inside NO cell NO2 cell oxygen cell will be default it will do by itself so that is the routine for the calibration part so then uh, so up to here this is the inspiratory and this part is connected to the INO delivery system inspiratory part okay then it is going to the baby baby then here you are measuring how much NO2 it is generating okay this is the feedback loop with the water trap here Okay. Yeah, it is disturbed. Here. Yeah. Okay. Then this is the expiratory limb, where it will have the proximal airway. Proximal airway. So both INO and NO2 are connected in the inspiratory limb, mm -hmm. and this is having the proximal and water trap. Okay. These are the connections. Any doubt here? Yeah. <coughs> Yeah, so this, so up to here it's fine. From humidifier you are getting heated wire, you are getting the inspiratory flow to you. So this is the sensor of the humidifier chamber. So this is the INO delivery system. So from this, from this, this is dispensing recommended PPM of INO to this inspiratory circuit. So from there, this is going to the baby and with the baby oxygen it will react, it will produce nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen dioxide is not good for the baby. So, if the value of the nitrogen dioxide goes more than 3, it is toxic. If it is more than 5, you have to stop the therapy immediately. So more than 3? More than 3 is toxic. More than 5, you have to stop the therapy. Stop. So, that will be displayed on this display. I will show you that later. So, for, for that safety feature, they have kept this one. Feedback. How, how that NO2 is formed? By nitrogen, nitric oxide plus oxygen. 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 Okay. Nitrogen oxide. If one more oxygen adds, then it is called peroxynitrate. That is a free radical. So based on this oxygen, that's why you have to keep very low oxygen when you are starting the ion. That means you are not supposed to be baby to be hypoxic, desaturating. You have to maintain the optimum lung. You have to open the lung. You have to give the supportive therapy. If you want to give surfactant, you give it out. So make sure you are coming down on the FiO2 and maintain a good balance of the pressure and optimal lung opening. Then you start the ion. If you give more oxygen, then the chances of free air radical damage and that will damage the surfactant, all the stuff will happen. So you have to always keep this NO will form oxidative damage. Okay. So then this is the one, this is measuring the nitrogen dioxide. This is the expiratory limb. Anyway, this proximal airway will be connected to the expiratory limb. Clear? So this is the regarding the connections. Connections, but it is very easy in this uh, delivery system. There is no confusion. This wire is for why this wire is there? Not power supply. This is power supply. Why this line is meant for? Manometer. It will measure the pressure in this and volume in this and so that it will tell you how much time this cylinder will come. This is the one. Okay. Coming to the... Uh, so one button you have to 
just remember this side button this is the mute button otherwise it will give a lot of noise when you are starting the device okay. this mute button has to be removed. okay when the baby is having uh, oa reaching 15 to 20 you start with the 20 ppm how do you know how to give the 20 ppm with this that is the challenge so yeah so there is a calculator button everyone see this so this calculator so ventilator flow how much it is there 8 liters yes. enter the 8 how much ppm you want to give most of the time we will start 20 with the 20 ppm right 20 ppm how much irrigation flow it requires it has given something calculation 163 so by adjusting this thing you can set to the 160 so just it's very easy this is increase this is decrease that's it there are so i'm just increasing so the knob will go up go up i'm just adjusting 110 oh, this is the flows how much i am so i just set 120 here so after 120 it is not there so it will raise here so this is for the fine balance and this is for the crude one okay so the flows went to 160 hmm? now it is 160 no, yeah the flows will be decided by your ventilator flows and how much ppm you want to give based on that this flows we will derive so one second shall i show you yeah this is the calculator how much ventilator flow it is there you will be knowing for convention it is 8 for hfo it is more 16 15 16, 15, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16 something yeah. that you enter here then you enter the ppm dose how much you this is standard most of the time starting 20 people it will give the flows 163 this is only calculator inbuilt software that's it so then you have to adjust manually how much uh, the 160 so you have to see this and you adjust this one so that you have to see here so it should be close to 160 then you okay. will achieve the no of 20 now it is increasing so yeah, it will go increase. up till 20 ppm yeah it will go up to uh, 20 ppm yeah. over a period of time it has to be we have to be patient enough yeah. so this will slowly increase slowly decrease so uh, so otherwise how do you know how much i have to set you will not be knowing with this calculator you will be knowing how much uh, but we set only till 120 so after that this will raise this but will still raise uh, it will raise it is a crude one this up, up to 40. here 50 so that means 10 means up to here only mm -hmm. it will automatically increase it will automatically you are not okay. going to do anything okay. just so for this even side though we have if you to don't increase. know this you don't calculate anything just, just keep, keep on, on increasing, increasing. Mm -hmm. then we soothe see this one but it will waste the gas that is the problem yeah. it will waste the gas okay clear mm -hmm. so then uh, you have so you set to the 20 ppm mm -hmm. then you have alarms here no to alarm always keep uh, three. so you can keep at three mm. so that it will keep getting Taxes. alarm but if you don't want that three also you can keep one also but traditionally it is three so more than three you are going to decrease 50 percent of the dose of ilo yeah. more than five you stop it okay. then you have oxygen sensor here how much oxygen is there it will reflect here that's it it's oxygen in the uh, wind the baby how much the baby receiving okay. that will be measured independently by your ino delivery system along with the ventilator Oxygen cell will be there here, mm -hmm. here also, both the things. You can cross check. No, this. but we have kept like uh, there is a problem because, no, because there is no air. There is no air. Okay, it's working on the it only is. oxygen, right? Oh. FIO2. FIO2. So then alarm limits of the INO you can set here. So the lower alarm limit you can set if it comes to 5, give me alarm. Mm -hmm. Then higher limit you can set 25. 25. Same like pulse oxymetry alarm okay. limit setting. 5 and 25, it will not cause the fatigue. Otherwise, if you set just 21, it will give frequent alarm. If you set 1 or 2, then also it is uh, 4, 4 also down, then it will also give the problem. Okay, this is how you will set this one. Right? Mm -hmm. Till now, any problem? Mm -hmm. So, it is showing the blue symbol. The that means full. Yeah, full, cylinder. Cylinder. full cylinder. So, 1000 ppm, 10 liters. liters. But the pressure is low still. The pressure is low, but it will come around 9 hours. That's why it is giving. So, there is a red means you have to change the cylinder. Mm. Okay. So, but there will be fluctuations when the ppm exact 20 will no, not be No, it will give a little bit of fluctuations will be there. But it is a 0.5 less or minus, not more than that. So, if you set properly, it will not fluctuate much. So, it's increasing now. Yeah. So if, if I increase and then just leave it, it will be there that only. It will not much uh, vary compared to other delivery systems. So this we set to 160, no? Before? Yeah, just now I increased. increased. Oh. So because some, uh, I have to decrease because it's going up. 
this is all fine tuning mm. you have to see things the calculator is a crude way of assessing so the uh, improvement will start like uh, 20 minutes later generally yeah so like that part i will tell that that what i will tell